Now, I like to think I'm a law-abiding citizen, not counting the chocolate milks I steal from the lunch line, of course, and I also have a grandpa that was in the military and a police officer, so I have to say being a hooligan was off the table for me. But it got me wondering, what are some of the strangest laws around the world? Number 1. Handling Salmon Under Suspicious Circumstances Now, I am sure that a lot of you heard about this law, but for you that didn't know, it was implemented with the Salmon Act of 1986, which was made to update legislation from the Victorian era's 1868 Salmon Fisheries Act in order to address issues in the fishing industry, likely due to concerns about declining fish populations and was likely established to combat illegal fishing practices and the black market sale of salmon. Suspicious circumstances could include the possession of salmon without proper documentation or evidence of legal acquisition. This law applies specifically to England and Wales under the jurisdiction of the UK government, with the maximum penalty being two years in prison. Damn, two years? What if some guy was just trying to keep his fish warm and was covering it with his jacket? Also, is this where the term something smells fishy came from? Hmm, my British nose is smelling something weird. It's not that guy. It's you! Number 2. Restrictions on Chicken Movement This law aims to prevent nuisance and potential hazards caused by roaming domestic chickens, ensuring public safety and property protection, which seems reasonable, but then again, I'm pretty sure even a smart car could win a car crash against a chicken. The law was likely enacted to address issues relevant to the community, possibly when instances of roaming chickens became problematic. This law applies to Quitman, Georgia in the United States, and there could be a unspecified fine or penalty for violating the law, but I like to think that it actually became illegal like this. You know why the chicken crossed the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> Yeah, police, there is a colored individual threatening me with his chicken. We are on our way, ma'am. You got me out colored. Number three, requiring licensed electricians for light bulb changes. You know how many dads it takes to change a light bulb? None, because they are all going to jail now. Why? Safety concerns regarding electrical work. Unlicensed individuals could pose a risk of electrical accidents or fires when handling electrical fixtures. <laughs> what type of idiots do they have in Victoria, Australia? Anyway, initially established as part of the Electricity Safety Act, this requirement was later revised to exempt certain tasks like changing light bulbs. Initially, there was a fine of 10 Australian dollars for changing a light bulb without a valid license. Number 4. Mandatory Smiling Act I would expect this law to be coming from China or North Korea, not from Italy, but the law might have been actually intended to promote a positive atmosphere in public spaces, contributing to civic harmony and well-being. Originating from Austro-Hungarian times, the law was likely established in the past but has persisted due to lack of repeal, where if you fail to meet this law, you will be given an unspecified fine for failing to comply with the law. Have you smiled today, sir? Well, my dog got ran over by a semi-truck, my mom died, and I just got robbed and stabbed while you were watching. So you haven't smiled today? No. That's a fine. Number 5. Restriction on passing wind. Apparently it's illegal to fart in a public place after 6pm on a Thursday. This law, although possibly a humorous anecdote, might have actually been conceived to maintain public decorum and hygiene. It's unclear when this law originated, but it's suggested to be from the 1800s. Can you guess where this law came from? That's right, Florida. I know, I wouldn't have been able to guess that one either, but there are no specified punishments because it's likely humorous in nature rather than legally enforced, but imagine going to Florida and everyone's head is just beat red because they have been holding nuclear bombs in their pants for such an extended amount of time. Number 6. Mandatory Canadian Music Quota on the Radio The Canadians created a law to promote and support Canadian music industry and culture, enacted as part of Canadian broadcasting regulations. This law applies nationwide in Canada, and the punishments are not specified, but non-compliance might result in penalties or fines imposed by regulatory authorities. Well, maybe if your music wasn't so trash, then you wouldn't have to create this law. Number 7. Compulsory Dog Walking Law Italy is back at it with another pretty weird law which was made to ensure the welfare of pets and prevent animal cruelty by promoting regular exercise and care, which is very admirable, but what if your dog can't walk anymore? or is very old. The law was recently introduced by Tiran's city council which fines up to 500 euros for dog owners who fail to walk their pets at least three times a day. 
Wait a minute, let me check how much that is in US dollars. Damn, $540? The fine is more expensive than the dog! Number 8. Mandatory Toilet Hospitality Law Reflecting a tradition of hospitality, this law aims to uphold social norms and politeness. Maybe some gas stations can take note of this, because I don't want to buy gum so I could take a piss after a 4 hour drive. Derived from old Scottish common law, the principle persists but might not be actively enforced. This law specifically applies to Scotland, UK, and the punishments are not specified but refusal could be considered impolite and socially frowned upon, so you might need to go to court and just be ruthlessly judged. Number 9. Penalty for forgetting your wife's birthday. I can just imagine the ruler of Samoa being hounded by his wife to make this law, because maybe then he'll remember it. But the real reason this law was created was possibly to emphasize the importance of familial relationships and personal commitment. Though the origin of this rule is unclear, it may have deep cultural roots. There isn't really a punishment for breaking this law, but it's suggested that a warning may be issued for the first offense. Number 10. Requirement to own a burial plot before death. Likely intended to address limited cemetery space and burial plot availability, introduced by the mayor as a response to cemetery capacity issues, this law specifically applies to... France. Though the punishments are not specified, violation might lead to severe punishments as stated by the mayor. There is one problem with this. L let me show you. You will be granted this burial plot in two days. Just don't die till then. I, I gave you one rule! I would like to state these laws were in no particular order whatsoever, so the last one is definitely not the weirdest one. Also, I would like to know if you live in any of these places, or if your country or state has their own weird laws. I hope you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another episode.